Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for newcomers. My name is Didi. Sorry, a little bit later than normally, but I was drinking too much coffee. Hmm. And I just forgot the time. So let's quickly jump into some really cool, really cool Bitcoin charts. Because um, I will keep it short but powerful. But you need to see these charts. Let's jump into them now. Bam. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. Huh. I've been running so long. That my feet don't work no more. Oh, yeah. I've been running so long. Here we have the... Four hour chart guys on this four hour chart you can see maybe I need to make my screen a little bit bigger like this you can see that we are in this downward pattern I will minimize the BAM indicator over there but you can see this red pattern is a downward pattern this one we came down and the question now is we are every time touching the top of that pattern you can see this over here we touched it over there we touched it over there we almost touched it over there are we going to go down to the bottom of the pattern 27k or are we forming this new pattern with a low and a higher low and then we need to create a higher this is the high a higher high so this is the question are we going to go and break down somewhere over there or are we going to go up, 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 come back, up, 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 you know, something like this. That is now what we are looking at and that is how Bitcoin could be playing out. But while we don't know um, in those periods, we just trade the charts like we always do. And that is why we use indicators and we started to use the Bam Bam indicator, this one over there. Um, that is telling you on the four hour chart when to long and when to short. And like you can see the short that we had I, 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 sorry the guys was a very good short over there it was a huge profit I showed this already yesterday and now we were waiting for a long so how does it work again just to repeat and to show you the power of the Bam Bam indicator yes a long flag yes we need a closing above the yellow stepping line but we need green so we don't see green yet it's a lot of blue that is not positive the red line is on top that is not positive the bam did cross at the long flag but now was at the y line in the mid again so that is not positive that is not a long we are waiting to see green to not see blue to see the green line on top to see the bam bam y line crossing up again and that is when we will take that long so yes it's a game of patience but let's quickly jump into some other charts to see um, in the bigger view what bitcoin is doing because that is also very important yes here i think even more important in my opinion this is the day chart on this day chart you can see we are still in this pattern guys we there will be an explosion somewhere in the next couple of days everybody is feeling it we kind of are breaking downwards of this pattern already over here which is not very positive because it could mean we could go down even more uh, you know but it's always difficult to draw these lines because are we in are we out um, should the line be drawn like this and will that mean that we take a little, few more days to break out it's you know we should be having multiple touch points so if we would have multiple touch points then we should draw like this then we already are out of this pattern but because this one here is still compressing this rsi we will i'm expecting some fireworks but let's see what the other numbers are telling us bam over here these numbers are telling us how much bitcoins are leaving the exchanges you can see all these exchanges have different colors and all of them experience the same thing there is bitcoin leaving the exchanges let me zoom in to this part over here look they all experience downward movement bitcoins are leaving the exchanges and that is i think um, very positive because when bitcoins start to leave the exchanges that means 
you also if you look at the percentage uh, that means here you can see it downward blah, 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 less bitcoins are held on exchanges less than almost 13 percent so that means that people trust bitcoin going up because else they would not take their bitcoins off the exchanges they would keep them on the exchanges because they want to sell them so um, that is what you can see in these numbers and you can also see the exchange balance over here let's see if that one is showing the same it's showing the same it's less bitcoins only how many bitcoins left on the exchanges 2.5 million uh, uh, value of bitcoins at the moment exchanges. so that is very positive to me bam let's see the pearl multiple uh, okay you can see that in the top we will be uh, around the top with the orange line as well or we were above it we were now around the top so we would be a little bit lower but we will be higher than we see now and that is what you can see you can see here in 2017 july let's, let's jump into this area here we can see in july here blah, 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 let's find it over there this dump that was the 16th of July. Do you see this? The orange line. And after the line started to turn, go up again. And that was when we reached the top of their 20K. Now, July. Here we have it again. That dump. And afterwards, we are starting to go up again with this orange line. That is also a positive indication to me. Yes, we can go way higher than we are at the current moment. Let's jump here. Bam. Other job. This one is the very important one that is going to close today on the BLX. This is that caution channel. If we would close a lot below it, yes, there is a huge chance we go to 25k. Um, if I look to this chart on the buy bid chart, then we did already close down below it, and this candle is below it. So on the buy bid chart, this is not positive. Let's be honest, this is not positive. The BLX still needs to show this, uh, but I think the BLX will also show a closing down below this line, which increases the chance of us going with the price to that level. But there is a huge, huge support area around 31k and we need to break that area and I don't see that happening yet. So let's see. Guys, there is some news on Bybit. Um, if you want to trade Bybit, use the referral links down below our videos. Yes, I'm uploading a really cool video about a sailing grip, but down below the videos you have all these links to Bybit, to um, Dudex, to Binance, to prime xbt and you can get all these kind of cool bonuses i always preferred buy bit but something is changing there so i need to check how this works out because on buy bit they announced that they now do kyc and up to two bitcoins a day no kyc is needed so if you only play with less than two bitcoins or you only withdraw less than two bitcoins a day no problems over there if you are a big player and you withdraw more than two bitcoins a day you now need to do kyc on bybit i'm looking also to be very honest into a new exchange that doesn't have kyc for the big players so i will come back to that later guys that was everything for today like i promised a very short video because Bam, I don't really have the time today. I have a busy day again, but I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Are you still bearish or are you slowly turning bullish? As you can see that we hold support at 31K. Maybe they are playing one big game. 31k 34k 31k 34k 31k 34k and they just multiply the bitcoins like that and we just need to sit and wait what happens and sometimes in life you just need to go with the flow you can't change what is happening at the moment because there are two big forces working on life or on the bitcoins two big forces two big wheels playing the game and you can just sit by accumulate more bitcoin and just believe in the plan B model that will bring Bitcoin every time, every four year cycle higher and higher and higher. So don't focus on those minute changes in Bitcoin and the losses you are having in dollar value at the moment. Because at the end, we all know Bitcoin is going to go up. So focus on accumulating Bitcoins, multiplying your Bitcoins by, for example, trading with the BAM, BAM indicator, or however you want to do it. And that should be your focus, in my opinion. Go with the flow. Don't swim against the stream because you will get tired. You don't want to get tired. I know that for sure. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Um, and hopefully see you later today at the beautiful family video. And I'll see you tomorrow morning again at the nice DA video. And yes, tomorrow I want to switch place because I've been sitting here on this rooftop. 
too long now. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Bad.